Hey everybody, welcome back, and the Dallas Cowboys have themselves a new defensive coordinator, and I wouldn't even think the word new would be right for the guy that they brought in, but we know that Dan Quinn is gone, he is over in Washington coaching the commander's left hand up, and he brought Joe Wood Jr. with him, who was a prime candidate to replace him here, and so they went through a lengthy list of Ron Rivera, Mike Zimmer, Rex Ryan, Aiden Durden, and a couple other names out there. And they have settled with Mike Zimmer. He's a familiar name with this organization, hence why I'm not really using the word new as strongly as I should, because he's been here since 1994 to 2006, so he's a familiar name with the team. And, of course, he handles things a lot differently than Dan Quinn, which we'll talk about as we get further through this video. So what we're going to do is just go through a brief article summarizing where we're at and then we'll further discuss. The Cowboys have identified Dan Quinn's replacement. To no surprise, he is a former head coach. Once a longtime Cowboys assistant, Mike Zimmer is expected to be hired as the new defensive coordinator. Two people familiar with the situation told Dallas Morning News as of Thursday evening some contract particulars had yet to be sorted. But Zimmer is the choice and the sides appear poised to reach a resolution. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was in direct contact Thursday with Zimmer and his agent Marvin Demoff to help close the deal. And there's ample history between the Jones family and Zimmer, who spent 13 seasons on the Dallas staff from 94 to 2006, like I just mentioned. The final seven of which came as defensive coordinator. Zimmer coached the Minnesota Vikings from 2014 to 2021. That aligns him with Mike McCarthy's track record. McCarthy generally prefers to give former head coaches this role on his staff between Dom Capers, Mike Pettin, Mike Nolan, and Quinn. An ex-head coach has worked as Mike McCarthy's defensive coordinator for 14 straight seasons. Zimmer would make it 15. McCarthy began the streak when hiring Capers in 2009. McCarthy and Zimmer competed against each other in the NFC North for six seasons. Those interactions helped sow mutual respect between them, and the Vikings went 72-56-1 under Zimmer with a 2-3 playoff record. Now, Zimmer, at age 67, would add an edge to the Cowboys' building. His reputation precedes him to that effect. Zimmer, unafraid to dial up the volume and temperature when communicating a correction, while balancing that temperament with a more subdued and supportive tone, the fiery style is his calling card. Schematically, Zimmer is versatile. He has experienced both coaching the 4-3 and 3-4 defensive fronts and likely will preserve the spirit of Quinn's versatile defenses from the past three seasons. Arguably, the best coordinators build a scheme around the players instead of forcing players into a preconceived scheme. Zimmer is expected to build around the pieces the Cowboys already have, which should allow a smooth transition into 2024. The Zimmer coach defense is known for tackling well and being technique sound. He will do what Quinn would have done if Quinn hadn't accepted the Washington Commanders head coach position last week, and that is to focus significant attention this offseason on improving against the run. The Green Bay Packers gutted the Cowboys in a January 14th first-round playoff loss as running back Aaron Jones locked 21 carries for 118 yards and three touchdowns. Nose tackle Mozzie Smith's development will be integral to that effort. The 2023 first-round pick was drafted to help stop the run, but the transition from Michigan to the NFL proved sizable. He played four defensive snaps in the playoff loss, presuming Smith makes the most of the developmental months ahead to become impact-ready. Zimmer will have an important piece not fully available to his predecessor. The Cowboys nearly have a new coordinator. If contract talks conclude as hoped, Zimmer will handle the role for the first time since 2008-2013 to 2013 tenure with the Cincinnati Bengals, and those defenses combined to allow 4.0 yards per carry tied for 6th best in the NFL across that span. And that's exactly what I'm looking at. The Dallas Cowboys need to hone in on the fundamentals of playing sound defense. And while the turnovers are nice, and I'm not trying to act like those are a bad thing, the one thing that killed the Cowboys was what happened when the turnovers weren't coming to them and making the offense have more opportunities to score. Well, they were not getting off the field in third and long situations. Dumb penalties. Not being able to stop the run when needed to. And... All of this exemplified itself in the playoff game against the Packers, which we won't go into detail any further, but at this point, you bring in a guy that has a temperament of being on someone's ass 
when they don't do their job, which a lot of fans have been clamoring for. And so if you were someone that wanted a coach to bring that element to this team, you're going to get it this year. Now, whether or not the players jive with it is a whole other thing, but to be completely honest with you, you really need to have that kind of edge at this point because it really feels like at times the defense was playing lackadaisical. And look, I'm not saying you had to be, you know, the yelly type to get your point across because I know a lot of people like to reference Chris Richard, but again, he did not have a proven track record to really you know, earn that right. And there hasn't been a proven, you know, model of that success. Now with Mike Zimmer, it's different. I mean, you look at all of the teams that he's coached and how long he's been in this. And I mean, look, his style works. And to be completely frank with you guys, out of the group that you had, this was the best hire that you can do. And I'm not saying I'm super excited you know, I'm okay with the hire, but to me, where this is going to lie in to how this really takes things forward, what do you do to help this guy out? You know, who do you bring back? Who do you add? And to me, it's clear as day, they need to add more linebackers onto this defense because that's what killed him last year. So if if you're not willing to go and get those pieces or make necessary moves to allow you to get those pieces, then you're just not doing yourself any favors and you're just screwing yourself over. And so that's where I'm really worried about this team is how can they help Mike Zimmer build a team that will really stop the run and get off the field in third downs. And more importantly, what does he do against Kyle Shanahan offenses? Because the Cowboys have struggled against these types of of offenses and so you have about like 16 to 18 head coaches that come from that tree not just Kyle Shanahan but his father too and to me it's really the important factor of handling these types of offenses as they continue to be more plentiful in the National Football League you're going to need to be able to get off the field on third down which he was ranked fourth I believe when I last saw it in terms of those third down defenses and so that's another thing is that he has a good track record and he made players like Everson Griffin and you know Anthony Barr and a lot of these other guys play a lot better than what they were before he came along. So the way that I'm thinking about it is that hey is he a home run hire in my humble opinion no but I think that he's good enough to get the job done. And for an all-in year, it makes sense. And again, if you want a guy that's a no-nonsense type of coach, this is the coach you wanted. So tell me what you guys think about this hire down below. I think that it's fine, but all of this is meaningless if you do not go get the personnel to get this shit done. So with that being said, I will leave you guys with that. Thank you so much. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for reaching this end of the video. And I'll talk to you later.